I got away with, man, just, uh, man, even finding a bit reckless sometimes, you know, using my athleticism or my, my power to get me out of bad, bad, bad uh, positions or even finishing fights early that, that I didn't put me in deep waters. But, man. You know, you talked about the confidence being somewhat shaken ahead of that last fight in the press conference. How different are you after going through that war and getting your hand raised? You know, I mean, it's just uh, all the things I'd been talking to my uh, <clears throat> sports psychologist, uh, uh, everything I've been talking to her about, you know, is really came true, you know, and, and, and really helped believe in myself more and believe in, 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 in the things that we've been working on and and really build a real confidence. I think that's how you you build confidence. You know, you go out there and make yourself uh, uh, where, where you can be exposed, and you go out there and, and things work that you've been working on, and that's how you get true confidence. And man, going into this next fight, you know, I, I, I'm I've built a lot of confidence that I want to keep uh, keep riding and, and 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 perform well. Gabriel Benitez, man, that's who you have coming up. He is 11 fights deep into his UFC career. What kind of fire do you see in him? Uh, you know, I don't, I'm not the guy that's going to start throwing no shade on anybody or nothing, but, uh, you know, it, it is what it is. And, and I believe, you know, he's kind of, he's, he's a fighter kind of uh, on, on his way down or out and, and I'm a fighter on my way up, you know, and that's kind of how I see this fight. And, you know, I, I respect him as a fighter, man. He's a, he, he's a tough, uh, guy. Uh, he's got, he's got wins standing up, wins on the ground. So it's nobody I'm overlooking in any way, but. It's one of those fights that, man. If I go out there and perform, dude, uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna look well and I'm gonna look good and, and I'm gonna put on a good performance and possibly get that 50 G's I should have got last fight. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I know a lot of people are uh, pretty angry about that, man. Like they yeah. gave it to, you know, they just should have gave it a, him a performance of the night, right? And gave right, you guys right. fight of the That's night. What I'm That's what I'm thinking. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, like you said, man, go out there and do your thing, and uh, you know, you get your get your check, get that third check. Right. Um, stylistic though, you know, stylistically though, this fight, you know, what type of fight is it for you? Uh, you know, that I've been battling this back and forth, you know, because, uh, there, there's a sign of me that thinks I can really put some pressure on this guy and man, land, uh, land some good shots and put this guy away standing. But man, in the ring, in, in, in the gym, dude, my ground game's looking so good right now, man. Uh, it would almost be a shame for me, my mate a shame for me not to take him down and, and sub this guy. So we'll see, man. You know, one, one thing's for sure is I'm going to come forward putting some pressure on him. You had a 15 minutes in your last fight to just test everything out that you learned and, and made some mistakes and, you know, made some improvements. What can you take from that into this fight against Benitez? <clears throat> man, you know, I did, I, did some, I did some things well in the last fight. Like you said, there's some things uh, I definitely want to work on. Um, but But let, let's be honest, man. Uh, I don't get paid by the hour. So, man, you know, the, the 15 minutes is great, but, I, but I've been there. I've done that. I've shown everybody I can do it. But man, I'm going to look to put this guy away early, you know. Uh, again, I don't get paid by the hour. So, uh, be looking for me to put this guy away early. Any any changes? You know, we know you're at Glory now. It's your second camp there. Any changes, any additions that you've made that have made an impact throughout the last, let's say, six, eight months? <clears throat> you know, just, uh, man, I, I think I've grown so much mentally, man. I, I really think uh the years in, in this game and and just the, the way the way I'm, I'm i'm approaching the game mentally and and the way that my, my coach is james Krause, really delgado the way the, the, the way that my mind is now my my fight iq is so high right now i really feel like i want to go in and and put together a, a good performance just just solely on how much my iq is has improved yeah it seems <clears> like you're putting all the pieces together perfectly at this moment you know what i mean the new team yeah the coaches, you know, you have the mental side coming in and, and growing on that side. Because I think, you know, I just did an interview with the previous another fighter, another USC fighter, just before I hopped on with you, and that's what he talked about. It's like physically you could be there for many, many years. It's just yeah. your mind, man. If it's not there, you're never going to peak. Dude, it is so true, man. Like, uh, I got away with, man, just, uh, man, even finding a bit reckless sometimes, you know, using my athleticism or my, my power to get me out of bad, bad – bad uh positions or even finishing fights early that that i didn't put me in deep waters but man the the place in my mind is now you know i i feel like i'm prepared for anything and i'm gonna make the right decisions to 
to put this guy away quick. What does that look like, though, putting a, a, the guy away quick, man? You said, you know, we've seen you head kick knockout fools. We've uh, seen you submit dudes. Yeah. It's just like you could do everything. It's just like, what do you see? Yeah. What do you envision? Man, I got, I can't, I can't, I can't let the cat out the bag. This, <laughs> but no, I've been, I've been putting some things together. Uh, there's some things striking, switching stances that, man, may just catch him. You know, if, if my film study's right, I think I got something for him. Definitely. Um, a couple more before I let you go. Cool. What do you think MMA fans obsess about too much that fighters really don't care about? Ugh. Oh, that's a tough one. Uh, I don't know, dude. Uh, give me an example, bro. Uh, you, you know, like um, missing weight or um, a record, like someone's record. Like they're like, oh, he's undefeated. Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? Like people do obsess yeah, about those things. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah um. You know, I, I say there's a lot of farewell fans. You know, like, you know, uh, you they'll they'll be high on some guy, then he drop a fight or two, and he's a bum. I'm like, dude. Or uh, another thing I'll I'll bring up uh, is the fact of like it's like, uh, it's crazy how everybody for a while had forgot about Jose Aldo. It's like, dude, people forget for ten years he was the man. Nobody could beat him, and then all of a sudden uh, in this McGregor area. You hear guys calling him in a bum, like, who is this guy? I'm like, I mean, that's crazy, to, you know, and uh, if there was anything that bothers me about fans, that it, it would be that, you know, like, man, at least do your, do your history on some things if you're going to go out uh, talking mess on everyone, you know? You know, you, you earned your stripes, you know, on the local scene, but you fight for the UFC now, you're at the highest level. What aspect of the regional scene do you not miss? Dude, the, the the commissioner, like, uh, the commissions, dude. Like, back in Arkansas, dude, some crazy wild commissioners, bro. Like, we'd be back there. They'd be making up some nonsense, like, getting on you about stuff that don't even matter. Like, just crazy rules. Like, I mean, just wildness, bro. Stuff that don't even matter. Like, I guess they're just kind of, like, trying to play, like, a power trip. Just trying to play that power trip card or something. But... You know, everything you see is so professional, man. Like, you you know, it, it's right there ready for you on spot, on time. And man, it just makes the fight process way easier. PTSD in combat sports from injuries, bad weight cuts, you know, maybe damage or even just losing a fight. Have you experienced this in the past or have you seen it in fighters around you? <clears throat> uh, without a doubt, dude. Uh, it's, uh, you know... Um, the mental health uh, aspect uh, of fighters is something that uh, I think we should all try to try to to uh, take care of each other a bit more, or maybe just talk to talk about it more, you know? Because I mean, it, it's real, you know. Us as fighters, like we're tough, you know. Like we don't want my, my nine times out of ten, I'm not going to tell you something's wrong and something's wrong, you know. But but reality is, uh, you know, talking to my sports psychologist, my sports psychologist, and my my coach, uh, it's it's healthy to talk about these things, and, and it does happen. Like uh, even the toughest men out there deal with uh, some sort of uh, PTSD from fighting, whether it's losing, whether it's uh, anything they endure in this sport, because this this is the hardest sport in the world. So, so, so to answer your question, yes, that's something I've dealt with, and and it'd be great if we could find a way to. Uh, make it talked about more and make it normalized talking about it and, and maybe seek help for those in need january 15th man ufc fight night in las vegas tj you're back in action i've been waiting for a while man i knew you were Thanks. brewing to get back in there so um, i'm yeah. happy for you and and all the luck man all the best of you know all the best for you Thanks, man. I really appreciate your time. I appreciate your platform, man. We'll go out there and get the job done, man. I appreciate the support. 